policy initiatives. Um, we work with the uh, Community Budget Alliance. And wow, so it's clear that this isn't like balancing your checkbook. Ending fiscal year, uh, the fiscal year was 7.7 .7 million. Expenditures in excess of reserves ends up meaning a $3.6 million surplus. And that doesn't mean that we don't have a $40 million shortfall as we enter into FY 2014. So these, these sorts of things are one of the reasons that CBA was formed. This is confusing. This is hard. So we are out there really trying to get people the education that they need, uh, along with the IBA, um, on how to understand the budget. CBA uh, is comprised of approximately 40 organizations from community-based to labor to uh, faith to, um, to environmental. And we have developed principles that should guide decision-making on the budget and capital improvements projects, really all funding, to make sure that these decisions work for residents. Er earlier this week, all of your offices received our letter, our recommendations, and our CIP uh, project, projects and services priorities. We ask you to use them. Many of our communities are hurting. We know this. Many communities have been repeatedly left behind. They need services and investment that deliver quality of life and truly include residents in defining what quality of life is. Thank you. Thank you. Noor Cosme, followed by Francisco Herrias. 